I, I, I'm very sad to say that if Obama will go into the White House and continue to uh, act like a slave and look like, not like a leader, uh, I don't see any change coming. If he continues to play golf and act like a slave um, uh, forced by APAC or uh, any other uh, interests in, uh, and lobbyists in Washington, and if he continues to uh, not to talk about the horrible crime that's happening in my country now, uh, I don't see any change coming to the world. I have no idea how the government reacts to what you say on, on international media like this, but what, what do you say to those accusations that there will be that you're, uh, you're a traitor, in effect, to, to Israel, that you're showing treachery, perhaps treason, in, in voicing the view that you've just voiced? I risked my life for many years as a captain and an operation leader of uh, operations in, uh, in uh, the Israeli Air Force. I worked with uh, Israeli uh, terror victims for many years. I know from a very close distance the, the pain of the Israeli people as well the Palestinian people. So no one can call me or the thousands of members of the uh, anti-occupation movement in Israel that we are traitors. In contrary, we are patriots. We want our people to continue to exist and we see our leaders' actions as a self-destruction uh, policies that put in a great danger the future of, of all of us. And we want to simply, as I'm, I'm telling it to you, as a rescue pilot, as a former rescue pilot in the Israeli Air Force, this is the most important rescue mission I can take upon myself to save the people here, whether they are Israelis, Palestinians, Jews, Muslims, Christians. And we all know that the situation in the Middle East uh, affect the whole world. And uh, it's, it could be as easy as that, that this kind of uh, conflict can escalate to a world war. We don't, don't forget uh, the forces in, in the other uh, places in the Middle East, uh, the tension between Iran and, and uh, the United States, uh, uh, other countries. We are in a great danger now, and if people want to help me as an Israeli and as a Jew, they have to put massive pressure on the Israeli government for ceasefire right now. Right now, we need a ceasefire. We need to be forced to sit and negotiate, negotiate with the Hamas. We have no other... Um, uh, legitimate uh, um, action by, but sitting and negotiating now with the Hamas and with the Arab world. Don't forget that we have the Arab Initiative. Mm -hmm. For many years by now, Arab Initiative say that they offer complete peace and normalization if Israel withdraw to the 1967 borders. As an Israeli, this is my interest okay. to have peace with the Palestinians and all the Arab world, and my government ignore this request for many years. All right. So this is my request. Jonathan Chiapira, thank you very much indeed for your time. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. So uh, more on our news website on all of the issues surrounding Gaza, the background to the deepening humanitarian crisis.